the names and arthur mean strange joints and was chosen because their vertebral joints have extra articulations and are unlike those of any other mammals they have been determined to have single color vision The cingulate order originated in South America during the Paleocene epoch, and due to the continent's former isolation remained confined to it during most of the Cenozoic. However, the formation of a land bridge allowed members of all three families to migrate to southern North America during the Pliocene. Galoptodon was about the same size and weight of a Volkswagen Beetle car. This funny-looking mammal had short legs and a huge armored dome on its back. That would have made it almost impossible for predators to eat. Paleontologists believe that climate change wasn't the only event responsible for this animal's demise. Dodecker's tail club was probably used in intraspecific conflict rather than defense against predators like Smilodon. The animal's field of vision was so limited that it would essentially have had to blindly thrash the tail club. This was the largest known glyptodont, and one of the better known members. The upper skull and the body of the Panathus were protected by hemispherical armor composed of hundreds of rounded scales. The tail, short and wedge-shaped, consisted of small bony bands with small spikes used for defense. Galoptodonts became extinct at the end of the last ice age along with a large number of other megafaunal species, their much smaller, more lightly armored and flexible armadillo relatives survived. Their extinction coincided with the arrival of early humans in the Americas. Nine banded armadillos are solitary largely nocturnal animals that come out to forage around dusk. Their foraging can cause mild damage to the root systems of certain plants. The armadillo may threaten the endangered gopher tortoise by aggressively displacing them from their burrows and claiming the burrows for themselves. Giant armadillos use their large front claws to dig for prey and rip open termites' mounds. Its average sleep time is said to be 18 hours. Hunted throughout its range, a single giant armadillo supplies a great deal of meat, and is the primary source of protein for some indigenous peoples. Despite this species' wide range, it is locally rare. The giant anteater can be found in multiple habitats, including grassland and rainforest. The giant anteater is the most terrestrial of the living anteater species. Its ancestors may originally have been adapted to arboreal life, the transition to life on the ground could have been aided by the expansion of open habitats. It has no teeth and is capable of only very limited jaw movement. The tube like rostrum and small mouth opening restrict the tongue to protrusion retraction movements. During feeding, the tongue moves in and out around 160 times per minute. Northern Tamanjua subsist almost entirely on diets of ants and termites, although they have also been observed to eat small quantities of fruit. They are active for about 8 hours each day spending the rest of the time sheltering in hollow trees. Myelodon has been traditionally considered a grazer in open areas which is theorized based on its paleo-environment as well as from the vegetation found in fossilized dung. It had a wide range of climatic and environmental tolerance. It had very thick hide and had osteoderms within its skin for added armor, 
it is unlikely that the Mylodon had any natural enemies other than humans. The Mylodontids together with their relatives form the Mylodonta, the second radiation of ground sloths. The discovery of their fossils in caverns associated with human occupation leads some early researchers to theorize that the early humans built corrals when they could procure a young ground sloth, to raise the animal to butchering size. Megatherium is one of the largest land mammals known to have existed, as big as modern elephants. For millions of years, the sloth did not have many enemies to bother it, so it was probably a diurnal animal. It had a robust skeleton with a large pelvic girdle and a broad muscular tail. Its large size enabled it to feed at heights unreachable by other contemporary herbivores. While it has been suggested that the giant sloth may have been partly carnivorous, this is a controversial claim. The last ground sloths in North America belonging to Nothrothriops died so recently that their dried subfossil dung has remained undisturbed in some caves, as if it were just recently deposited. Thalassocnus were near shore herbivores which likely became aquatic due to the area in which they lived in being a desert that could not provide enough food for their survival on land. It probably walked across the sea floor and dug up food with its claws. They probably could not do high-powered swimming, relying on paddling if necessary. The sloth is so named because of its very low metabolism and deliberate movements, sloth being related to the word slow. This is an evolutionary adaptation to their low energy diet of leaves, and to avoid detection by predatory hawks and cats who hunt by sight. Sloths are almost helpless on the ground, but are able to swim, 